the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Everybody say, Amen. And let's take a moment now to be quiet and reflect on maybe the last week, maybe more, and isolate those places where we've fallen short of the mark, where we have let God and our neighbor down. Father, you sent Jesus to heal us. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Portion of Psalm 103, um, as a thanksgiving and a reminder, you know, that we are sinful creatures, but God still loves us. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me honor his name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his blessings. Join me. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me honor his name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his blessings. He forgives all your sin, and he heals all your ills. He redeems your life from the grave. He shows mercy upon you and steadfast love. He renews your youth by good things. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all within me honor his name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and never forget all his blessings. All our days are as grass or a flower of the field. As the wind goes over, it goes. But on those who worship with steadfast love, he bestows his gifts evermore. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all within me honor his name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and never forget all his blessings. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you inspired your servant Luke to reveal in his gospel the love and healing power of your Son. Give your church the same love and power to heal and to proclaim your salvation among the nations to the glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our healer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the word of God. We have two readings this morning. One, first, from the letter of James, where he makes clear that the healing ministry has much to do with prayer. He writes, Are any among you suffering? They should pray. Are any cheerful? They should sing songs of praise. 
Are any among you sick? They should call for the elders of the church and have them pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise them up and anyone who has committed sins will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous is powerful and it is effective. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Let's stand and greet the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O Lord my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to the Gentile part of the world to Tyre and to Sidon. Just then a Canaanite woman, a Gentile, from that region came and started shouting, have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he didn't answer her at all. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, she keeps shouting after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and knelt before him and said, Lord, help me. He answered, Is it, it's not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of our one, true, holy, and living Lord, everybody say, Amen and please be seated. This gospel is one of those passages that is bound to evoke lots of thought and even outright objection. It's a very good picture of the reality of Jesus Christ. For instance, if somehow we still think of Jesus as something that we learned in Sunday school, that he's gentle and kind and beautiful, all true, we see this other side. Here is this woman in desperation. She's making a big row, so much so that the apostles, this is enough, you know, send her away, get, get her out of here. And then she, she prostrates herself. You know, she's right on the ground and she's begging him, Lord, help me. And wouldn't you think that if somebody did that, to one of us, if it happened to us. I mean, the first thing you do is 
surely her heart would go out to them. All he can say is, hey, you're a dog, you're a Gentile, and my mission is to my own people. She's clever though, and she gets it. She says, well, even the dogs get the crumbs under the master's table. And at that point, it just seems to me anyway, that Jesus Channer just breaks open and says, wow, you have faith. Well, your daughter's healed. Go and enjoy it. What a story, especially when you get to that, you know, the dogs. You, Canaanite woman, Gentile, non-Jew, not one of us, not one of God's people. You are a dog. Wow. I think our relationships with Jesus have to be real. And we have to remember that so much of Jesus is that he is part divine and part human, right? And you'll see so many pictures of Jesus with parted hair in the middle. Why? Well, that's it. Half human, half divine. And a lot of times it seems to me in my relationship with him that um, the human side continues to come out. He may be exalted in glory and the king of the universe and all of those things that attend his majesty. <laughs> But there is that human side, and certainly when he was among us, he could show some temper, and he could show, you know, that he, um, he was just probably tired and could be quite acerbic at times. That's who he is, and that's who his divinity is as well that his majesty, his royalty, his holiness, you know, his sanctification is shot through with humanity. Well, what do we do with that, especially on a healing Sunday? And all I can tell you is there have been times in my own life where I have thought God didn't notice, didn't care, had actually abandoned me. And especially at times when I really wanted an answer, I wanted a healing, I wanted to feel that God is really, truly with me. Those dark nights of the soul I have experienced where it feels like he's not there, he's not choosing, to hear me, to act, anything. Have you ever had the same experience? Have you? Most of us deep Christians do, you know. And they can be very, very discouraging. Well, each time, and I can assure you each time, even though when I was going through it, I didn't think I would be able to get through it. But each time I have, and I have had God heal and assure, such that I can go on and I recognize that God is faithful indeed, that he doesn't give up. Well, here we have in this story, I think some lessons that have to do with how we approach God in those times. We really, really want to know God exists and that he is for us. The first thing is this Gentile woman, did you notice that she says to Jesus, have mercy on me. She's recognizing that Jesus is somebody that is beyond just a faith healer. He is Lord. So she approaches him as Lord, as we would say, God. Not just as a faith healer. She says, have mercy on me. That have mercy on me 
it seems to me, indicates that she knows that she is, well, just human, just human. She doesn't approach Jesus as if she has a right to this, that she expects some miracle for him. She has to shout to be heard, shout over the crowds, get his attention. She really wants this healing. But she's approaching it not as if I deserve this, but rather as somebody who is a suppliant. She even gets, apparently, you know, it looks like, down on her knees and then probably prostrates herself. You know, she's right at his feet, asking for mercy. It's the first thing she asks for. And it's only after that, God, have mercy on me, a sinner, that she asks what she is most concerned about, and that's her daughter. Think about those times we approach God and we really want something, and it's a legitimate want. How do we approach God? Like that? Or is it like this woman, you know, have mercy on me, a sinner. When she gets to the, um, in front of him, that's when she says just, Lord, help me. And isn't that, I mean, that's, that's the, the ultimate prayer, isn't it? Just help me. God, help me. Again, not that I deserve it, but I really, really need help. Don't turn me away. And that resistance of Jesus, even sort of snarkiness, would you call it? You know, well, I've been sent only to my own people, not to you Gentiles. That's, that's hard to take. But isn't it true that there are times in our spiritual lives where exactly this happens? We so much want that assurance and that healing from God, and God just doesn't respond, or he gives us the impression to our fallen minds that he doesn't care, and in fact, he'd rather inflict misery upon us than he was. But he does come through, and that's what I want to emphasize, especially on a healing Sunday like this. He does come through, and I would be very surprised to hear that if each one of our stories, that we haven't had at least two or three of those incidents where we thought God had abandoned us, and he hadn't. I'm not going to make speeches about, well, this is good for us. It's a miserable place to be. And um, if you read uh, a lot of Christian spiritual literature, especially the classic Christian literature, you find that the great saints of the church have endured these dark nights of the soul, soul, uh, soul. you know, not just for a minute or two, it's months or it's even years. But they perceive, per, uh, persevere, and God eventually does exactly what is needed for them. They don't give up, and in their not giving up, they recognize that God doesn't give up. On the other hand, you have to submit yourself to God first, not yourself. God is sovereign, and therefore, you kneel in front of him, prostrate yourself on the ground, whatever it is, and simply be patient, and all will be well. As Julianne of Norwich says, and I keep quoting to you, all will be well, and all will be well, and all manner of thing will be well. It's a tough story to appreciate.
On the other hand, I think it lays out some realities that we need to understand as we follow Christ, as we live in him, as we approach God for mercy and healing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go on to the healing part of the service, and we have a hymn that we don't sing very much. We just seem to sing it at this time, you know, at a healing service. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow, give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. Why don't we sing that again and then catch up with the verses as you feel comfortable. Healer of our every hill, light of each tomorrow, give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. You who know our fears and sadness, Peace us with your peace and gladness. Spirit of all comfort, fill our hearts. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow, Give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. In the pain and joy beholding how your grace is still unfolding, Give us on your vision, God of love, healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow. Give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. Give us strength to love each other, every sister, every brother, spirit of all kindness, be our guide. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow, give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. You who know each thought and feeling, Teach us all your way of healing. Spirit of compassion, fill each heart. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow. Give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. Please stand. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me 
When you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. O God of peace, you have taught us that in returning and rest, we shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> we name before God those for whom we offer our prayers. For ourselves and for others. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, disabled, that they may be made whole. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent, a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Bless physicians, nurses, chaplains, counselors, therapists, everyone who ministers to the suffering of others. Grant them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death. And uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit, 
those who are bereaved. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nations, and in the world. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power among the nations. With you, O Lord, is the well of life, and in your light, we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life, heal us and make us whole. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, for the laying on of hands. If you just come forward, and I will lay my hands upon you and bless you in the name of the triune God. My sister. I bless you in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. And my brother, I bless you in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My sister. I bless you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And my sister, I bless you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. sister, I bless you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And my brother, I bless you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. My sister, I bless you and carry this to your mom too. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. My sister, I bless you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. My sister, I bless you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dorothy, my sister, 
I bless you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Rest assured, your mother is as well. Amen. My sister, I bless you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And my sister, I bless you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brother, John, I bless you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And breath, my friend. I bless you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And my sister, I bless you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. My sister, I bless you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. My brother, I bless you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. And uh, once again, <laughs> I bless you in the name of God the Father. God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you bless me. Edward, I bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Heal me, hands of Jesus, and search out all my pain. Restore my hope, remove my fear, and bring me peace again. Cleanse me, blood of Jesus, Take bitterness away. Let me forgive as one forgiven, and bring me peace today. Know me, mind of Jesus, and show me all my sin. Dispel the memories of guilt and bring me peace again. Fill me joy of Jesus, anxiety shall cease and heaven's serenity be mine, for Jesus brings me peace. Loving God, through this ministry of healing, grant comfort in suffering to all who are in need. When they are afraid, give them courage. When they are afflicted, give them patience. When they are dejected, give them hope. And when they are alone, assure them 
of the support of your holy people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you. And then use us, we pray, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. Please exchange the peace. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well. It is well with my soul. It is well. It is well. It is well. It is well, it is well with my soul. Though Satan should bow, Though trial should come, let this blessed assurance control that Christ has regarded my helpless estate and has shed his own blood for my soul. It is well, it is well, it is well, it is well with my soul. Let's stand. My sin, O oh, the bliss of this glorious thought, my sin not in part, but the whole, is nailed to the cross, and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord, Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. It is well, it is well, it is well, it is well with my soul.
Blessed are you, O God of all creation. Everything in the universe is yours. Lord Jesus, thank you. I give you what you first gave me. I give you my hands to do your work. I give you my feet to go your way. I give you my eyes to see as you see. I give you my tongue to speak your words. I give you my mind to think as you think. I give you my spirit so that you may pray in me. I give you my heart so that you may love in me. I give you myself so that you may grow in me. All things come of you, O Lord, and of your own do we give you. We have bread, and we pray that this bread will become the very body of our brother and our Lord and our healer, Jesus Christ. And we have wine mingled with a little water. And we pray that this wine will become the very blood of Christ, our salvation, and our hope. Everybody say, Amen. Let us love one another that we may celebrate this holy mystery in peace. A blessing of peace, a sacrifice of praise. Holy things for holy people, thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ. You reveal your glory in the wonderful grace and virtue of Luke and all your saints, healers, vessels of your grace, and lights in the world in their generations. And so, with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. Father, thank you for your heart of compassion, for binding up our wounds, for healing us. Thank you especially for the precious gift of your Son, healer of our every ill, who with you shows us the grace of sacrifice and inspires in us the radiant gift of the same, who, in the night in which he was betrayed, took bread, 
gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. For the life of the world, for the life of the world. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the recalling of me. For the life of the world, for the life of the world. Father, send down your Holy Spirit upon this offering of bread and wine, that they may become to us the true body and blood of Jesus, our brother and our Lord. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen, amen, amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The disciples knew the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. The bread which we break, hallelujah, is the communion of the body of Christ. The disciples knew the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. One body are we, alleluia, though many we share one bread. The disciples knew the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, these are the gifts of God for you, the people of God. Thanks be the God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. O Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ given for us, everybody say. Amen. and the blood of Christ shed for us. Amen.
May we take and eat these in remembrance that Christ died for us and feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, wash me. Jesus, my Savior, dwell in me. Please stand and let us pray. O merciful God, constant source of all healing, as we wait for that day when pain shall be no more, we rest assured that all will be well, and all will be well, and all manner of thing will be well. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our healer, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit now and always. Amen. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gate to open wide. He will wash away my sin, let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he will stay close beside me all the way. When at last I come to die, he will take me home on high. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.